It's Ken Harbaugh with Against All Enemies on the Midas Touch Network. One of my earliest videos on this channel showed a woman at a MAGA event several years ago who said that she didn't want to see America live under a dictator, but if it did, she wanted that dictator to be Donald Trump. It was a shocking moment, and I wasn't the only one who reported on it. But now we are at a point where talk of Trump becoming a dictator is normal. He even jokes about it himself, though I have interviewed a number of experts and historians who warn that for anybody who cares about preserving democracy, we should take Trump's jokes about becoming a dictator as threats. I'm not sure enough people realize how dangerous it is when talk of dictatorship becomes this normalized. Not that we shouldn't keep reporting on it. That's another fallacy that somehow ignoring the extremism of Trump and his followers will make it go away. If most Americans can be made to understand who Donald Trump really is and what his most ardent followers really want, I believe they will reject it again. Which is why I and other commentators on this channel won't let it go. Today's MAGA movement has all the hallmarks of a cult. His most devoted supporters abandon everything they once cared about to follow him, even reason itself. Trump campaign events become vicious feedback loops, with Trump feeding the paranoia of the crowd, and they in turn fueling his own unhinged rants. I've been trying to understand how large groups like this think and operate. We'll dive deeper into the psychology of the MAGA movement in coming episodes, but to kick it off, I want to share part of a conversation I had with Dr. Stephen Hassan, an expert in cults who was himself, as a young college student, recruited into a cult that so brainwashed him that he says he would have killed his own parents if he'd been ordered to. Amazingly, one of the things that helped Stephen escape that cult was his realization that it was using the exact same tactics employed by the Communist Party of China to brainwash its citizens. Today, Dr. Hassan helps others escape cults including MAGA. It's a fascinating conversation, and I hope you'll listen to the full interview when it comes out next month on Burn the Boats. Before we get to this excerpt, I want to share a quick clip from the TikTok account Hey MAGA 2024. If this doesn't convince you that our democracy is in dangerous territory, nothing will. What would you rather have, four years of Donald Trump as a dictator or four more years of Joe Biden as president? I think I'm choosing Donald Trump as a dictator for four more years. You'd rather have four years of dictator Trump or four years of a Biden presidency? Four years of a dictator Trump. <laughs> yeah, I'm going dictator Trump for sure. <laughs> Would you rather have him as a dictator for four years or Biden as a president for four years? I'd rather have Donald Trump as a dictator for four years, absolutely. Because I, but look at Biden. He's done nothing but bring this country down. So I don't want that president for the next four years. If you could have an option of four years of Donald Trump as a dictator or four years of Joe Biden as a president, what would you choose? Donald Trump. Even as a dictator? He wouldn't be a dictator. No, no, but I'm in, in this I'd silly hypothesis. Donald Trump. Yeah. I'd still say Donald Trump. Absolutely. Would you rather have Trump as a dictator uh, or Biden as a president? I'd rather have Trump as a dictator than Biden any day. It's kind of obvious who knows what they're doing. There, there is no dictatorship with Trump. He cares. He's for America. I mean, he did say he would be one for a day. Right? For a day, but I, I still don't see it. Would you rather have four years of Trump as a dictator or four years no, of Biden? I'd rather have eight years of Trump. No, no, I'm saying, would you rather have four years of Trump as a dictator or four years of Biden as a president? Uh, Trump as a dictator. He's and not going to sell us out. Let's talk about the cult of MAGA, because I, I see so many commonalities. I mean, the fact that it was the example of Chinese communism that helped deprogram you is just so richly ironic, given the opposition or the um, professed opposition within MAGA to, to communism, yet it uses many of the same tools and techniques to to recruit and in your words, brainwash its adherents. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I point out in the cult of Trump that a lot of the techniques are projecting what they're doing wrong onto the enemy or to the other. 
to misdirect and to confuse and disorient. By the way, if you want to mind control someone, the first thing you want to go for is confusion. And the fastest way to confuse people is to overload them with information at a rate faster than they're able to digest it. And what's happening with algorithms in YouTube, and this is all scientifically valid now, is YouTube through their algorithms were radicalizing people on the left and the right to get it more and more extreme by the autoplay suggestions because they were wanting more attention so they could make more money. But it was actually creating more polarization, etc. I want to also say that, uh, so in, in working to help people in the cult of MAGA, working, talking about Chinese communist brainwashing is a very effective tool, but you have to learn what it is and what it isn't. I have interviews with Lyft and he's 95 years old about his model. He's written a number of other books about cults as well as with Trump. Um, and pimps and traffickers talking about how they groom and mind control people. Trumpers will want to be, listen to that too. And I've done extensive work with sex trafficking survivors as well as labor trafficking experts. So my bite model really works for both of those things. But there's a, a, a set of what you don't do and what you can do. Hi, everyone. I want to give a big shout out to all those who have signed up to support this show through my Patreon page. We are off to a fantastic start. Thank you for making it possible. And if you haven't subscribed, I hope you'll consider it. In the coming months, I'll be posting early and exclusive content, including a trailer for the Against All Enemies documentary film, which has been racking up awards at film festivals around the world and will soon be released here in the U.S. Stand by for more details on that. And if you're a subscriber to my Patreon page, be on the lookout for an early preview. Thanks again, everyone. And family members and friends who have a loved one in the cult of MAGA, the first thing they need to do is educate themselves. I have the influence continuum model, ethical to unethical, the bite model, learning about malignant narcissists like chapter three talks compares trump to uh jim jones and hubbard and moon so educate yourself first and then you want to build rapport and trust again so if you've blocked your loved one or you've called them bad names you want to start with your tail between your legs and say i miss you you are my favorite uncle you know, I'm so sorry I, I blocked you. I want you back in my life. We can agree not to talk about politics, but I, I, want, I want you in my life. Build bridges, because if we want to influence people in a cult, the last thing you want to do is call them morons, deplorables, idiots, etc. And that's what, unfortunately, people are doing because of their ignorance and because they don't understand the fundamental attribution error, they don't understand mind control as a dissociative disorder, that you don't understand. People wake up. They really do get out of this, but they get out because you're respectful and you're asking them questions and waiting for an answer, doing active listening. And instead of attacking the leader, the doctrine, or the policies straight on with facts, you're asking them to go back in time before they met, they ever heard of Trump. What was their first memory of Donald Trump? And often people, when I ask that, they're like, I thought he was a pervert. Or I saw him on The Apprentice and I thought he was an arrogant, you know, piece of work. And I'm like, that's really interesting. So walk me through how you came to start thinking he was a good person to the president of the United States, but you're asking them to think through how their mind got hacked, right? <laughs> and, and so the bottom line is, is being in, in the here and now, present with somebody you care about, 
acting out of love and respect, controlling your own reactivity, because a lot of people just, they're like, I can't talk to my, my brother. He's just, he makes me want to punch him in the face. Like he's, I can't stand it. And I'm like, you're not mind controlled. He is. You need to learn self-regulation. You need to talk to ex-MAGA people who've gotten out so you can have hope that this will actually work because it will. But you have to have patience and you have to be in there in this person's life. And you're educating people that brainwashing really exists. It's over there. You're not like sticking it in their faces, right? And people don't want to stay in a mind control cult because there's dissonance between their real self that knows things are very screwed up and what they're constantly hearing on social media, you know, through their cell phone and through Fox News and other channels. Mm -hmm.